Um, hello, and welcome to this first video presentation on nodal analysis. I'm going to write that down up here. Nodal analysis. So uh, I guess to start off, uh, I just want to explain what uh, nodal analysis is. Nodal analysis is a way in which we can take a circuit. So if I give you a circuit, and really you can use nodal analysis to, to get a lot of different things about the circuit, but the way it's most typically used is if I give you some circuit, let me just draw some example circuit, and I'm going to make it, I don't know, somewhat complicated. Let's say I have a, you know, maybe a current source here, maybe another resistor here. I can have, you know, kind of some complicated circuit like this. You know, this is a somewhat complicated circuit. And if I tell you what all these resistance values are, and I tell you that I have some voltage input V and some current input here I, if I tell you all of those values, voltage V, resistor R1, R2, R3, and R4, and my, uh, my current source I here, what you can use nodal analysis to do is you can use nodal analysis to figure out what the voltages are at each of these nodes. So if I call this V1 right here, Maybe I'll have, and then I'll have another node right over here. This will all be the voltage V2. And then I would call this maybe down here. I'll choose a different color. This maybe down here. I'd call the voltage V3. And I also just realized that I've got another voltage right here, V4. So what we would use nodal analysis to do, it's a way of, if we know what you know this voltage source is, what these resistance values are, and what this current source is. And this is just a general circuit, like really we can do this for any circuit, and that's why nodal analysis is so powerful. We'll be able to solve for all of these different voltages. We'll be able to figure out what all of these different voltages are. So anyway, that's kind of an overview. And, and also I should say that there are a number of different ways to analyze circuits. Um, uh, Typically, or, or I shouldn't say typically, in many uh, circuit simulator programs, nodal analysis is actually kind of what is implemented in the simulator program. And uh, I guess there are a few reasons for that. Uh, one, uh, I guess, uh, reason is that nodal analysis always works. Nodal analysis, and there, you know, you don't run into too many things uh, in circuit analysis that, you know, only work in certain cases. Uh, but nodal analysis is always going to work. We're always going to be, anal be able to analyze any circuit we have using nodal analysis. And furthermore, uh, when we analyze a circuit, often it is the case, this isn't always the case, but often is, it is the case that what we care about is our voltage output. So notice here, I told you that if, I, if you give me a circuit, you give me a circuit topology, a circuit diagram, you say, hey, I've got this uh, voltage input V, I've got these four different resistors, they're connected like this, and I've got a current source I. If I'm doing something like, uh, you know, programming it on, on, on an Arduino, and I want to, you know, I, I'm controlling something, most of the time what I really care about is what is my voltage? What, what is the voltage output of this circuit? So nodal analysis makes a lot of, it, it kind of makes a lot of sense uh, as, as a way to analyze the circuit because what we are getting, what we are solving for is the voltages. Of course, if what we cared about were currents or power or uh, something else, we'd be able to get it uh, after we do nodal analysis because we'll be able to still use Ohm's law uh, to, to figure out what uh, to figure out what all those different different quantities might be in our circuit. But the uh, really nice, but the nice thing about nodal analysis is often is it is the case, not always, but often it is the case that what we care about are our voltages. We we most often care about what is our voltage output. So uh, anyway, that's just kind of a little introduction to nodal analysis. I'm actually going to stop this video here, and the next video we're going to do a short example, an easy example of a circuit that'll kind of get you started with doing nodal analysis. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.